Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this part, we are going to see about development of larynx. In this, the development of larynx occur in the cephalic part of the foregut. That is, it is communicating with the pharynx through the U-shaped inverted U-shaped furcula. So, how the changes, uh, the developmental changes occur in the larynx? You will see in this video. Now in the development of trachea, the inverted U-shaped furcula plays a major role. So this inverted U-shaped slit-like structure which is lies in the floor of the pharynx, which lies in the floor of the pharynx, towards the cephalic end, the prominence can be seen, that is, hypobronchial eminence which is derived from the fourth arch and on either side of this furcula the two lateral folds are getting into arise and this going to derive from the uh, sixth arch so now we'll see the thing the changes which is occurring in the inverted u-shaped furcula so on either side of the furcula there is a swelling as developed that is that swelling is due to the presence of that arytenoid cartilage so this swelling of the arytenoid makes the furcula into t-shaped structure it makes the structure as a t-shaped slit so now the u-shaped furcula is changed into a t-shaped structure because of the development of arytenoid swelling on either side of the lateral fold of the furcula. Now the vertical limb, this is vertical limb and this one is horizontal limb. The vertical limb lies between the two swelling of the arytenoid and the horizontal limb lies towards the uh, caudal part of the hypobronchial eminence. So now the structure is Formed. It forms a T-shaped slit. After that, the furcula is uh, proliferate. The pro proliferation of this furcula is going to close the slit. After third month, again it get recanalized. It get recanalized, and this arytenoid swelling is there. Now, this uh, differentiated into upper part and lower part. Upper part is going to form the arytenoid cartilage and the carniculate cartilage. And the lower part is going to form the cricoid cartilage. First it is uh, present on, uh, it is present as a uh, two part. Then it becomes further development occurs. It becomes a single cricoid cartilage, unites each other, or either side unite each other. And it going to form a signet shaped structure. So now this arytenoid swelling is going to differentiate into a pair of arytenoid cartilage and carniculate cartilage. And the lower end is persist as a cricoid cartilage. So now this uh, here now the hypobronchial eminence is there now. This going to differentiate into epiglottis. And then it is going to form the cuneiform cartilage so cuneiform cartilage it is nothing but a detached part from the epiglottis a detached part from the epiglottis is going to form the cuneiform cartilage now the furcula is going to flush out and this becomes the remoglottitis in the larynx so this epiglottis and the cuneiform part is going to derive from the mesodermal part and uh, this epiglottis is formed from the fourth arch and the part of the cricoid cartilage, arytenoid cartilage and carniculate cartilage are derived from the sixth arch. Later the thyroid cartilage is the one which is derived from the fusion of the fourth and the fifth arch and uh, the epiglottis and the thyroid cartilage which are the characteristic importance of uh, mammals. So like this the fully formed development of larynx is occur in the human being. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video please 
share and subscribe click the bell icon